Alright, so we're starting the game to the moon. Um, it's a one-way ticket to the field train. I've never, f I've never played it before. I just know that apparently it's really sad. And um, oops, I almost dropped my mic. So let's get started. Jesus, why does it look like that? Can I change that? Or is it supposed? To How do I fix that? Can you change options in game? It looks pretty. Whatever. Maybe I can change options in game. Alright, so we're starting. Whoa, porn folder, what? <laughs> Original music. Something just happened. Sound like a car crash. <laughs> okay, Dr. Rosaline, what are you looking at, Neil? What were you looking at? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. <laughs> Stupid squirrel. He ran over it anyways. Rip. Dr. Waltz, you're a murderer. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Fucking idiot. Look, don't worry, it's a company, Picard. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. Well, we'll just say we're saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go right that in your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Uh, left click with an object to interact with it. Received equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll. Right click to toggle the menu to control. Patient offline, patient offline. What? Dr. Eva Rosaline and Neil Watts. What do you do with them? Anything? With a box this heavy, what's inside has got to be important. Alright, um... What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, okay. It's very interesting, like, the way that you walk. Okay. Up? Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Oh, she closed it. How thoughtful of you. Dude, they're totally dating. Hey, Circumflexer. I give her 10 minutes, dude. It's gonna get intense. I'm really worried about all the reading that I have to do. Uh, I'm not really used to like playing games and clicking like this. It's really weird. There's a boulder. Who put a boulder here? Goddamn boulders. Maybe it's their security system. <laughs> Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Abort mission and go home. Push it by hand. All right, on three. One, two, three. See, easy. I, I don't even. What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. What was it? Was it a bear? Well, well, we'll figure things out later. Right. Girls. Knock knock. 
You need Rock Smash. The little girl's still playing. Ma, they're here. Not a bad place to retire, huh? I could do better. <laughs> Knife shifts, love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. Damn, so mean. It's probably gonna be another all nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they even have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will. And the door opens! Don't forget the equipment, moron. God, this guy's so stupid. I feel bad. I don't get paid enough for this. Why is he walking backwards? It's awkward. Act one, I never told anyone, but I always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Or Watts, not Waltz, sorry. Lily, thanks for coming on such a short notice. Ugh. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny lives with us here. Or lets us live here. I suppose this, this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. I'm gonna be reading so much. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs, yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets the there first gets to play the melody. Oh, these kids, please. Not fair. No fair. You push me. Did not. Whatever. You're just. You get the boring two notes anyway. <laughs> the boring two notes anyway. I guess I need to make it a little bit louder. I want to play the melody. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said, said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of the small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. What? Ready to set up? Look around first. Uh, gee, you know, I'd like to carry this excruciating heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. Can I, can I look at anything? A section of readings from medical journals. There's books on top, though. Huh. This is the bathroom. You can turn on the light.
right, what does the doctor say? Doctor, he's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. All right, whatever. Ready, if that thing's up, that thing's up. Da -da 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 -da. Hello. While drawing something I don't like. No problem, Ma. All right. How long am I going to play to the moon? I want to finish it tonight, if I can. If I can, I will. Learning the piano is hard. Learning any instrument's hard. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left, that's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep getting, keep on getting crazier, huh? So you could, can you do that? Do it? Whatever. It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an old man. Though the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know more, many details. I would have known more if it if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. <laughs> Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you might find some info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he's signed for you too. Mm-hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Dr. Watts. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. <laughs> Meh, same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Boop. Okay. I didn't mean to talk to him. Oh wait, that's downstairs right there. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Girl, doing it. This Dr. Reno? Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. Oh god. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruction button. I seem to have a knack for those. <laughs> Johnny's heart monitor is now active in menu. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've never played it either. Don't worry. Hello, little kids. Okay, apparently I'm not talking to them. Sarah, what you want? Um, show around the house? Hey, your ma told you to, told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars! Or the Candy King mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Or what? There's a giant Candy King on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well...
You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or I'd just tell your mother. The kitchen door is to the right is right next to the stairs, now go. It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. Yep. Wait, which one which stairs? The stairs or these stairs? Whatever. That's probably that one, knowing my luck. Okay. There's the candy cane. He can't reach it. I better get the stupid candy cane for them while I'm here. Well, yeah, go get it. Receive candy cane! Booyah, it's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. <laughs> I like this guy. No, come back down. I was gonna try and move that back. Okay, 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 never mind, never mind. Let's, let's, let's go out the door. Go out the door. These kids have zero respect for their, their elders, honestly. All right, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. All right, where do we start? I know there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like the funny room. What kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Where's the study at then? Is this it? This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Just like the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who admitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Uh... Is this the thickest one? What is considered the thickest book? Can I, like, step to the side and read it? The Emperor's New Baby Clothes. And the colors, the colors of the beautiful fabric, I've never seen anything like it in my life. They are all tried to conceal their disappointment at the beginning, able to see the clothes, the child, however, blah, blah, blah. A child, however, who has no important role and could only see things that his eyes showed them to them, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't got anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy remarked, This is so much reading, I made a mistake. But the boy remarked, which has been heard by the bystanders, was repeated over and over. Okay. Okay. I guess it's in this book then. Oh no, you can. Okay. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami was already a supplement the great Wikipedia origami now now as a standard reports of uh, knowledge and wisdom about paper floating for eh, blah, 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 missions and it contains the lack of a fail, blah, 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 words. First, it is made of paper and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. <laughs> Read more? Yes. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. And most origami... I'm reading origami right. Yeah, that's how you spell it, right? Scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. I don't think I was reading origami right, but whatever. I didn't read it all. Man sure knows where to hide things. Turn on the light. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> Just a bunch of books in here. There's nothing I know about though. Night classes, yeah, night classes. You can finally open the funny room in the basement now. Trains go choo choo, not ships, please. What are you saying? This is the basement. We play hide and seek in here. Turn on the light before you trip over something.
the door is locked. Open door with ring key. In before sex dungeon. It's like a cave in here. Are those the origami bunnies? A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous looking creature. Poke it. We saved toy platypus. A broken music book. A rabbit folded out of paper. They're just like everywhere. There's so many rabbits folded out of paper. That's so creepy. The music changed. This room isn't very funny. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Want to go see it? I got the keys. Let me guess, you weren't supposed to go in there either. Hehe. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you, too. So do you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Decision. Oh, what the heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Head south to the street and take the other path to get down though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> of course. No switches. Tommy kind of looks like a girl. Novelty beach ball. I thought I lost it. Oh, it's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. We don't have time for this. Right now, let's head back to the lighthouse. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed a duck car? That was uh, Dr. Rosaline, yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline, just, just. Funny room is scary, pretty much. A square well. Don't worry, kids, I got this. Best defense is a good offense. Tsunami kick. Loudest. This ends here. I stop it or we'll tell my you animal abuse. She called the cops on you. She'll call them. Oh, come on. I wasn't actually gonna. Don't you like role playing? <laughs> you should be ashamed of you, you yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. Aww. Boss fight. Unrip squirrel, pretty much.
so hardcore at LARPing. He really is. Dr. Wax is insane. I think he's funny. I'm glad I picked him. Wait, what's that over there? This? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was that... Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse right here. Oh my god, I didn't have to go up each one individually. That would suck. This is it. Seems like this thing hasn't been functioning for quite a while now. A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have come up here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the one who's a little creeped out by these though? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yep. What the? Someone's calling me. I should have guessed. Of course, it's gonna be what's her face. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah blah blah. All right, let's head back. As for this, received paper rabbit. Interesting. <laughs> 